Canada's national parks are protected areas under the Canada National Parks Act, owned by the Government of Canada and administered for the benefit, education, and enjoyment of the people of Canada and its future generations. National parks are administered by Parks Canada, a crown agency operating under the jurisdiction of the Ministry of Environment and Climate Change. The goal of the national parks system is to set aside lands representing the country's 39 distinct natural regions described in the National Parks System Plan, primarily to protect the ecological integrity of the land, and secondarily to allow the public to explore, learn about, and enjoy Canada's natural spaces. Canada's first national park was created in 1885 through an order in council to reserve 26 square kilometers (10 square miles) over the cave and basin hot springs to prevent the land from being sold for private development development despite claims being made for it. Modeled after the American experience with Yellowstone National Park, the Rocky Mountains Park Act, adopted in 1887, established the Rocky Mountains Park, now Banff National Park. The idea of a national park was popular and led to numerous proposals for the Ministry of the Interior to consider, including additional sites along the Canadian Pacific Railway e.g. Yoho and Glacier and an expansion of Banff and the Grand Trunk Pacific Railway e Jasper. In 1911 the Rocky Mountains Park Act was replaced by the Dominion Forest Reserves and Parks Act which created the world's first National Parks Service, the Dominion Parks Branch, to administer national parks in Canada. These early national parks, including those established under the leadership of J. B. Harkin who was the first commissioner of the Dominion Parks branch, were set aside to reserve lands principally for tourism and conservation but also had an exclusionary policy prohibiting First Nations peoples from using their traditional lands within the new parks. In 1922 Wood Buffalo National Park was the first to allow traditional indigenous activities to continue. In 1972, Parks Canada defined national park reserves, lands administered by the agency intended to become national parks pending settlement of indigenous land rights and agreements for continued traditional use of the lands. As of 2018, there are 39 national parks and 8 national park reserves, covering an area of approximately 328,198 square kilometers, 126,718 square miles, or about 3.3% of the total land area of Canada, and representing 30 of the 39 natural regions. There is at least one park located in every one of the nation's 13 provinces and territories. Parks Canada reported attendance of 15,449,249 at all national parks and reserves in 2016-17, including over 4 million visits to the busiest park Banff, and only two persons at the least visited park Tuktutnogate. Parks Canada additionally manages three National Marine Conservation Areas NMCAs, a single NMCA reserve, and the country's lone national landmark. The Canada National Parks Act also allows for recognition of national historic sites that commemorate events, landmarks, or objects of national importance, and which may include similar levels of protection and administration as national parks. Feasibility studies are underway to establish further national parks in unrepresented regions. National parks and national park reserves National park reserves are indicated by «reserve» after the park name. Proposed national park reserves The following are areas which Parks Canada is in the process of evaluating as potential parks. While they may be reserved from alienation or have federal, provincial, territorial agreements, they have not been formally established through legislation as parks. Topic: <laughs> Abolished national parks. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> National marine conservation areas. National Marine Conservation Areas NMCAs are a relatively new invention in the park system. The goal of the NMCA system is to preserve areas representing Canada's 29 marine regions as identified by Parks Canada. They are designed for sustainable use, although they usually also contain areas designed to protect ecological integrity. 
Lake Superior National Marine Conservation Area, created in 2015, is the only unit that uses this designation in its name. Fathom 5 National Marine Park was created in 1987, prior to the NMCA concept, and subsequently classified as an NMCA without changing its legal name. Sagune Street. Lawrence Marine Park is jointly administered by Parks Canada and its Quebec counterpart, SAPOC. National Marine Conservation Area Reserves are protected areas proposed to be added to the NMCA system pending settlement of indigenous land and water rights. In the interim, they are administered under park rules. As of 2018, established NMCAs and NMCA reserves protect 14,846 square kilometers, 5,732 square miles of waters, wetlands, and coastlines, representing 5 of the 29 identified marine regions with studies underway for protected areas in 3 additional regions. Topic: <laughs> Proposed National Marine Conservation Areas. National landmark In addition to national parks, a national landmarks program was established in 1978 but has not yet been expanded beyond a single property. Landmarks were intended to protect specific natural features considered outstanding, exceptional, unique, or rare to this country. These natural features would typically be isolated entities and of scientific interest. See also Provincial parks are administered and funded by the provincial governments, however some provincial parks are categorized as national parks category two under the IUCN's protected area management categories. Gatineau Park in Quebec is another park under the jurisdiction of the federal government. However, it is managed by the National Capital Commission, not Parks Canada, and is not considered part of the national park system. List of Canadian protected areas List of UNESCO biosphere reserves in Canada List of National Historic Sites of Canada List of World Heritage Sites in Canada Notes <laughs> <laughs>